today on Anderson. Pageant moms. Parents seem to be pushing their kids really hard. She loves it. I'm such a special little girl. You think it puts too much emphasis on physical appearance? It's such a mistruth. It's the appearance of sexual readiness. That's ridiculous, and it makes me furious. I think as a society, we sexualize kids, and I worry that pageants may play a part in that. Anderson starts right now. Hey, welcome. Thanks very much for being with us. You know, a couple of years ago, if you had told me that moms were spray tanning their five-year-olds and making them wear hair extensions and false teeth, I wouldn't have believed you. But after watching toddlers and tiaras, nothing surprises me anymore when it comes to child beauty pageants. The truth is, as you probably know, I will watch just about anything on TV. I have lost many a productive Saturday afternoon to shame-based TV watching, Real Housewives marathons. I even watch Ice Loves Coco. <laughs> yeah. And, and man, does she love him. But Toddlers and Tiaras takes it to a whole new level. It, it is a huge hit for TLC. It's made pageants an even bigger business than they were. You know there are more than 5,000 child pageants every year? There are hundreds of thousands of kids who participate in these pageants every year. A and the reason that I wanted to do this show today is because I'm not sure really what I think about these pageants. I mean, part of me thinks, well, if the kids enjoy it and are getting something out of it, you know, who am I to judge? But, but then a lot of these parents seem to be pushing their kids really hard. I also have questions about how appropriate it is for kids to be dressing up and made up like adults, dancing around on stage sometime in, in skimpy outfits. I think as a society, we sexualize kids, very young kids, and I worry that pageants may play a part in that. T take a look at a little girl named Mia, who's two years old. Look what her, what her mom had her perform in. Yeah. Her mom was a big Madonna fan, so she had her wear the little Madonna, yeah. I'm not trying to judge anyone on today's show, but I do hope to discover what it is that's motivating moms to put their kids in these pageants. And I'm also curious to see how these pageant kids turn out. That was uh, Eden performing as Jane, being taken off the stage by uh, Tarzan. Dr. Nancy Irwin is a doctor of psychology. She joins us. Hey, stand up. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So, what, what do you make of this? What, what, I mean, when you see that tape, when you hear what you've heard? Uh, the Tarzan tape could be considered suggestive. And here's the deal with a lot of this sexualization of the girls in the pageant. It's not always this way, but it is uh, crossing the line sometimes. And what it is, is it's putting out an, the appearance of sexual readiness. And that can be misconstrued by a but, lot but of the look, wrong They people. say, look, these girls are just being cute. They're just, you know, doing what five-year-old girls do in front of a mirror. Well, with the sexy costumes and all of the makeup, that crosses the line. And again, in the, in the hands of the wrong people, that can be misconstrued. Right. And it could, yeah. Right. It was touched on earlier about the pedophiles, and yes, that is, that is accentuated a lot. But what they're not realizing is a lot more than just pedophiles. It's, it's attracting situational offenders. What does that mean? That means some people ordinarily would not take the bait, but they will if it's constantly thrust in their face. And here's another element. It's not just about the pedophiles and the child molesters. It's also teaching, sometimes, these girls uh, sexual objectification of themselves and of other people. Oh, oh no. You're going to tell sometimes, me no. that by Eden's grandfather playing Tarzan, throwing her over his shoulder and running off as part of a routine that I am enticing her as sexual bait? That's ridiculous, and it makes me furious. It makes me furious. You do not know what I have in my heart and in my mind, and I assure you, sex is not part of it when it comes to my little girl. I'm sure you're not inadvertently trying to harm your children. I'm not trying to harm her in any way, ma'am. I get that. Do, do, you have, do you have any concerns, though, about who may be watching, what they may be thinking, or what message you may send? She about love of the sport from gymnastics, yeah. okay, and ice skating. They wear a tight one piece, okay? Sometimes see-through, especially in ice cheer. skating. Makeup. I mean, but we're not, here. we're not having that conversation. You know no. why we're not? Because of what happened to poor John Benet. God, it was awful and it's terrible. But the media, again, the media grabbed a hold of that and away we go with the spin doctors. And yes, I love my daughter and no, I don't put her in anything that is sexual. I would never, why would you even stand up in a public forum and say that I would sacrifice my child? Encourage pedophilia. Wait, 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 hold on one second. 
Brooke, when, when you hear this, what do you, Brooke, when you hear this, what do you think? I just think it's obviously it's a matter of two different opinions. But if your child's going to be on TV and all this makeup and all this hair, I mean, it's going to attract people like that. They're everywhere. I mean, if you get on that sex offender search, your next door neighbor is probably a sex offender. And they're all at Walmart. They're all at Target. They're all yeah, at every other place. Yeah, but they're not made up and like shaking but their But isn't that kind of oxymoronic? If no. pedophiles are out there, <laughs> it's they, want little, they want little girls, don't they? They want to take little girls when they're shaking their butt and have blush caked on their face. Okay, I mean, well, we it's not just what they're putting out now. The seeds are being planted right now for their sexual behavior later on. What can happen when children are forced to view their beauty and their value and their sexuality and their attractiveness at this young age is it can interrupt the psychosexual development. Again, you don't see the damage right now, but you can later when they begin to see, again, their own their values and their but, but sexuality. But a, a lot of kids turn out, I mean, look at Asia. She, she's very right. happy and she had a great experience and, and says she didn't have any problem with it. I'm not saying it always goes this way. I'm saying there is the potential there. And she's not talking, you know, about what you oh, are but doing I'm, in particular. I'm, we're taking it personal. I'm Absolutely. taking it real personal because I take my my daughter to church. I teach my daughter values. I teach my daughter things that, how to treat other people. All we can do is be mamas, listen to our kids, try to raise them the best we can, instill values with with them. It's it's a facade for that few minutes of a Saturday or a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Then it's off and on to other things, riding four wheelers, digging in the dirt, making mud pies, chasing daddy around, painting his toenails. In Do the you case wish of our TLC house. showed more of that? That wouldn't sell a show, though. And the girls don't know when they do a pouty face or when they, I mean, you know, shake their, they don't know that that's that sexual. They don't to the know what man. sexual means. Brooke? Sorry. Other people know. Other people know. When we come back, we're going to see uh, Eden, Mackenzie, and Isabella. They're going to be back without the hair and the makeup. We'll be right back. <laughs>